Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Kane. I was just talking to David Tyree, the man who's the star of this movie you've made. We're both Giants fans. Is this the greatest catch ever or what? <laughs> well, the reason why I did it because I was watching Sports Center and Tom, what's the Titan's name on the Patriots? Uh, Brady. No, the tight end. On oh, the, the tight end, Gronkowski? Yeah, Gronkowski made a catch and Tom Brady said that's the greatest catch he ever saw. He's full of crap. And I said, <laughs> no, 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 no. That's why we made it. When you, as a, I mean, there's no one more prominent in New York sports as a fan than Spike Lee. So when you get a chance to, it's like, is it like being a kid in a candy store making a movie like this with these guys? Well, I wouldn't say that a kid in a candy store, but I feel very comfortable around the athletes, you know, and, uh, you know, they like my work. You know, some stuff I do in, with sports, they like that. They love He Got Game. And even though I didn't do it, Reggie Miller versus New York Knicks, I get a lot of, you know, heat about that. But I'm a huge Giants fan. But I got to admit, growing up, I was a Jets fan because I'm 57. So that my guy was Joe Willie Namath. I love Namath. Still do. When you look at what this catch did for this franchise, as you're making the movie, do you understand? And are there elements that open up to you to understand how big this all was and became? Well, I, I, I was there. I understood it. But the one thing that hurt this film is that the Patriots won. That hurt this film. It would have been better if they was, now, he, now they got they won, but that was a, Pete Carroll, Pete Carroll. And you know what, Pete, we go back USC. You should let me come to the scrimmage and speak to the guys, but come on, half yard out, you got beast mode, why you throw the ball? That catch. Is that going your tombstone? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be pretty close, man. It's something that I definitely believe is eternal, you know. So, um, you know, it was a special moment. And I try, I try to receive this all really humbly and recognizing that, you know, you can't really work that hard for a moment like that. Something that, you know, a moment that chose you. So I'm happy to be the recipient. Dude, I had no idea. You still have the ball that David Tyree caught. Spike was just telling me. Well, I caught it too. You did. You caught yeah, it after. Yeah, don't just say he caught it. I caught it too. I own it. As a huge Giants fan, it's so no, great to be talking to you, man. Good. Reliving this and having Spike make a movie about it, arguably the greatest moment, not only in franchise history, but one of the most important in Super Bowl history. Talk to me about it. This is an honor, man. For, for you know, First of all, for Spike to reach out to myself and David Tyree and to the New York Giants organization and really want to put this piece together, you know, it's an honor. You know, it says a lot. And you know, we put this piece together, you know, for people to understand, so they could know how important that moment was in sports history. Not only for myself, but for David Tyree. I wouldn't, we wouldn't be world champions if it wasn't for him making a play that nobody in the world could have made at that time. And I, I want people to understand like how special it was, not only to him, but to me, uh, every, all the fans, the organization. It's just a thing of just, it doesn't happen every day. And I think that you know when it happened, you sit back and you realize, and as you, as we kept playing, and, and you look at that on the jumbotron, you're like, man, I think I just saw the greatest play in, in NFL history. Yeah, and it just set in like it was unbelievable. The greatest catch ever, not only in Giants history but arguably NFL history. You were on the field for that, and now Spike Lee is showing us the magic between Eli Manning and David Tyree. How excited are you to see it and relive it all again? I'm excited, but I also get nervous anytime I see this play because I really didn't do anything on the entire play. You know, it's 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 funny. You know, I was just watching it, and now that my kids are old enough, they still ask me, "Dad, what were you doing on that play?" So uh, I always have to defend myself and uh, say that I did my job. There was just nobody to block. So it, it's uh, I cringe when I kind of watch the, when I watch the protection aspect of it. It's so easy to look back and understand. That I mean, from a franchise perspective, how much of a game changer this was. But did you guys realize at that moment when that catch was made the, the significance of what had happened? Not at the moment. I mean, at the moment that you're sprinting downfield and trying to get a playoff because you're not sure if he caught the ball or not. So the natural reaction is to go down and get the snap off so there is no review. Um, and then, you know, with 50 seconds left in the game, you just want to get in the end zone, take the lead, and, and, and win the Super Bowl. So. It wasn't really until after I got back to the hotel I saw replays of the catch. You know, it's uh, you heard about it from teammates, but uh, I didn't see it until I got back. 